it's your, it's your favorite nurse Jasmine, and I'm back today with another video. So today's video is going to be all about the truth about nursing school. So June and July are usually the months where you find out if you've been accepted to nursing school or not. And basically, you're very excited. You can't wait to get started, but you also don't know what to expect. And I'm going to break all of that down for you guys today. If you are interested, please continue to watch. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel, I am a registered nurse. I do have my BSN. I did do the non-traditional route by going community college pre-nursing. Then I went and got my ADN. Then I went back and got my BSN and I am currently a grad student with my focus being family nurse practitioner and I've just completed my first year. So your girl got a little bit of experience, okay? And um, I also work in the intensive care unit and basically I'm going to just tell you guys my truth about nursing school. Some people flourish in nursing school, some struggle, some simply just don't make it and I think who you are is just dependent on you. But I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about the truth that I experienced while in nursing school and um, some of my BFFs can attest to this. So, so. the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that nursing school is super hard. I have never personally met anyone who said that they simply excelled through nursing school without studying, without you know going to class, showed up, took a test went on about their business, breezed through clinicals, like that it was just a piece of cake, piece of pie. I have personally never experienced that. It could be different for some people. Like I said, some people simply excel. But those who do excel and they, um, you know, 4.0 across the board and they are, they still will tell you that nursing school is very hard. It is a different way of thinking compared to your basic, like, anatomy classes and your English comps and public speaking it is a different thought process they're basically teaching you how to critically think regarding changes in patients conditions so it is a very tough topic and it goes into every single body system that you can think of and it is very important for you to know all of the above so when I tell you that it is difficult it is difficult is it doable absolutely but is it difficult Yes, it is. <laughs> so this leads me into the next point, which is that you have to study. You cannot simply just show up and take a test or show up and take a quiz without cracking your book open. Now, are there a lot of supplemental apps and programs and things out there for you to utilize that make it easier and make it easier to understand? Yes, but you still have to study. You have to open your book. You have to listen to your notes. I am a person who I actually did really well by um, recording all of our lectures. So on my commute to and from school, I will re-listen to lectures. If I am going to visit family that weekend and at that time, my hometown was about six hours away and my husband's mother lived about two hours away. I would listen to some of my lectures, especially if it's a topic that I struggle with, such as cardiology. I would listen to them over and over until it just clicked. I did study groups. I studied on my own. I stayed up late night studying. I went to class early to study. You have to study in order to do well. Will you still study and struggle on some topics? Yes, because some things simply just don't make sense in your head and that's okay. But at the end of the day, you still will have to study. You cannot get through nursing school without studying. Like that's just not a thing. <laughs> so the next thing is that nursing school is not always fun. You will have some days and some weeks where you are literally thinking like, what am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? I am miserable. I am tired. I am exhausted. You will be in class sleeping. Your classmates will take pictures of you. Yes, I'm, I'm someone who does that. <laughs> But you will simply just be so exhausted. But when it is fun, it is super fun. So the things that I really enjoyed about nursing school was checkoffs. Although they scare the hell out of you and um, you're like sweating and you're panicking and you're making sure that you remember all of the steps so that way you get all of your points for your skills checkoff. They are so much fun. Doing it with your classmates because you form a bond with a group. It's it's inevitable. Um, you just you laugh at the stupid stuff you do. You laugh at the dumb stuff that people say. You laugh at yourself. I am very infamous for being the one who was super nervous about sterile glove 
checkoffs. I know it's so stupid now because I can do it in my sleep, but my hands were so sweaty because I was so nervous that I wasn't going to do it right. And the person who did our checkoffs, she was a little bit intimidating. So, um, you know, they were like, you know, put baby powder on your hands and then just go in there and do it. But it was just, it's hilarious. And then you meet up with some of these friends and then some of them you stay friends with. Like my two best friends I went to nursing school with. And you literally laugh at all of the dumb stuff that you did. Or all of the stuff that you were excited to do that now you like dread. Like I remember I was so excited to put a Foley in. And now I'm just like, oh, I gotta do another Foley. But it's just, when it's fun, it is super fun. When I'm telling you clinicals, I am a hands-on learner. So if you are like me and you learn everything by doing it and being in it and it makes sense to you you will absolutely love clinicals i love every moment of clinicals other than the fact that i didn't get paid for doing it <laughs> which no one gets paid but clinical is so fun so you, my co-workers nursing co-workers group text is hilarious as well <laughs> big thing about nursing school is that it is expensive nursing school is expensive even if you go and get your ADN the community college route um and you don't go to a private school like I did I went to a private Baptist based school to get my associates and it is expensive tuition is expensive your books are expensive clinical scrubs are expensive especially because a lot of them want you to have a certain color you also have to pay to get your emblem your school emblem embossed on the shoulder to show which school you belong to even though your scrubs are what your school make you wear but that's beside the point like everything that you need um you know from stethoscopes to pin lights to like it all like it's little cost and it starts to add up and like I said, tuition is expensive. So if you are like me and your parents were not able to fund your college because first of all, I was a grown ass woman. But second of all, if you did not, you know, if you're fresh out of high school and your parents just don't have the money to pay for you to go to college or you didn't get a full ride scholarship to college, just be mindful of um, ways to pay for school. There are a lot of work-based studies out there that will let you like work to pay towards your tuition. You can also work and pay as you go um, if you have a good enough job to do that or if you have a spouse or a significant other that is able to help you pay for college or if you have to be like me and take out student loans. Make sure you only take out what is required. Don't go taking out all that extra stuff because it's just gonna cost you more money and it's gonna take you longer to pay back. So be very mindful of your student loans. But at the end of the day, the things that you can pay for out of pocket, make sure you pay for them, such as like lab costs. I chose not to get my textbook fees included in my tuition because there are so many other ways to get your textbooks for cheaper, such as Chegg and and Amazon and textbooks.com that a lot of places will let you rent your books these days no this is not sponsored um though they're just sites that I use because I knew it was more cost efficient for me either way it goes nursing school is very pricey <laughs> last but not least I will tell you guys that nursing school was the best decision that I ever made I am so happy that I went to school and I went when I did because some of the people that I met will stay in my heart forever and it has honestly afforded me the life that I've wanted as well as I'm doing something that I love. I love doing what I do. I don't love doing it every single day but for the most part I'm very very happy with what I do right now and honestly I would not trade my nursing school experience for anything in the world. It was very hard. The payoff was so much better than any struggle that happened during that time. I, I want to congratulate all of you guys who are in nursing school as well as all of you guys who just passed NCLEX and graduated. Congrats to all of you as well and I wish you nothing but the best. Those of you guys who are about to partake in this journey, welcome to the nursing family and I hope that you do great and that you succeed. Never be afraid to ask for help. Never be afraid to reach out to your professors, your student advisors, because that's what they're there for. They're there to ensure that you pass and that you succeed. So never be scared to reach out and do your best, study hard, 
past NCLEX the first time. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys subscribe before you leave if you have not joined G Nation as well as hit the notification bell so you can be part of the notification game and you never miss any of my videos and make sure to follow me over on Instagram and until the next video don't forget to stay bossed up and conquer. Mwah.